Rising from the ocean with a majestic grace, Bird Rock stood tall like a natural colossus, its rough and jagged surface lending it an imposing air. The ocean currents crashed against this rocky facade, leaving behind a frothy white spray, which dissipated into the salty air. Surrounded by the cerulean expanse, the Bird's Rock's rocky crags provided a sharp contrast, making it an awe-inspiring sight for all who laid eyes on it. For best friends Justin and Damien, Bird Rock was more than just a diving spot. It was their sanctuary, a world of vivid colors and untold mysteries that awaited them. As they swam deeper and deeper into the depths, the water slowly grew colder, and the reef came alive with a rainbow of colors. Fish in all shapes and sizes darted around them, and the sound of their breathing filled their ears. For them, the underwater world was their escape from the mundane, and they relished the chance to explore every nook and cranny. On a sunny day, the duo geared up with their diving gear, anticipation bubbling within them as they prepared to descend into the mysterious depths of the ocean. The water was crystal clear, revealing a stunning world beneath the surface. Justin and Damien exchanged excited glances, their eyes shining with the eagerness of explorers about to embark on a new adventure. With a splash, they submerged into the cool waters, the sensation of weightlessness enveloping them as they descended deeper into the abyss. The marine life greeted them with a mesmerizing display of colors, as if nature had painted a masterpiece just for them. Schools of fish danced around them, while corals swayed gracefully to an underwater symphony. As they swam further, Damien suddenly halted, his eyes widening in awe. Justin followed his gaze and gasped as he caught sight of a massive great white shark gliding towards them with stealthy grace. The shark's sleek body and rows of sharp teeth were a testament to its power and dominance in the underwater realm. Damien, an experienced diver, instinctively raised his dive knife, ready to defend himself. As Damien braced himself for a potential shark attack, he never expected it to happen so suddenly. In a flash of movement, the predator lunged at him with lightning speed, its razor-sharp teeth gnashing together with a deafening snap. Damien's heart pounded in his chest as he tried to dodge the beast's grip, but it was too late. The shark's powerful jaws clamped down on his leg with a bone-crushing force sending a wave of excruciating pain through his body. As the water around them churned and frothed, Justin watched in horror as his friend fought for his life. Damien's face contorted in agony as he desperately tried to break free from the shark's grip, but the predator's unyielding hold only tightened with each passing moment. With a burst of adrenaline-fueled bravery, Damien drew his knife and plunged it into the shark's scaly hide hoping to weaken its resolve. But the predator was relentless, attacking again and again with a ferocity that was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. As the struggle continued, the water around them turned crimson with Damien's blood, a macabre painting that seemed to mirror the violence unfolding before their eyes. Despite the pain and fear, Damien refused to give up battling the shark with every ounce of strength he had left. But with each passing moment, his strength began to ebb, and the predator's grip began to tighten. In that moment, it seemed as though all hope was lost, and Damien's fate was sealed. Justin's heart pounded at his chest as he moved to intervene, but as if drawn by the scent of blood, another massive great white shark appeared out of nowhere. The two sharks circled Damien, their dark eyes fixed on their prey with an intensity that sent chills down Justin's spine. Damien fought with all his might, but the sharks were merciless in their attack. With a swift motion, one of the sharks lunged at Damien's torso, its serrated teeth tearing into his flesh. The water turned crimson as Damien's blood mixed with the salt water creating a gruesome scene that played out in slow motion before Justin's eyes. He screamed, the sound muffled by the water as he watched in horror, unable to comprehend the nightmare unfolding in front of him. The second shark joined in the attack, tearing into Damien from the other side, ripping his body apart with brutal force. 
Damien's screams were silenced as the sharks tore him apart like a rag doll, leaving only shreds of his wetsuit and a trail of blood in their wake. Justin's mind went blank, paralyzed with shock and horror at the sight of his best friend being devoured by two apex predators. He tried to reach Damien to save him, but the sharks were too fast, too furious, too ferocious. Justin's hands trembled, his entire body shaking with grief and helplessness. He could hear his own heartbeat thundering in his ears as he watched the gruesome spectacle unfold before him, unable to do anything to stop it. Minutes that felt like hours passed before the sharks finally retreated, leaving behind a trail of crimson in the water. Damien's lifeless body floated, disfigured and torn, a harrowing sight that Justin could never erase from his memory. The ocean that had once been a source of wonder and awe had turned into a nightmarish scene of carnage. In the shock and panic, Justin swam towards the shore with all his strength, his mind a whirlwind of emotions. The image of Damien being ripped apart by the two sharks replayed in his mind like a horror movie on a loop each detail etched into his soul with searing pain. He reached the shore, stumbling onto the sand, his body and mind in a state of turmoil. In the aftermath of the tragedy, Justin was emotionally scarred for life. He suffered from vivid nightmares, reliving the gruesome scene of Damien's death every night. The local news was flooded with the story of how two sharks ripped a diver into pieces in front of his friend reminding everybody of the volatile nature and ferocity of the creatures of the sea. Brent had always been an adventurous soul, always seeking out new and exciting ways to experience the world. Today was no exception, and he had decided to take to the skies with a paraglider over the stunningly beautiful turquoise waters of Recife, Brazil. The bright sun beamed down on him and the wind was perfect for his adventure. Despite his adventurous spirit, Brent was always careful and he double-checked his equipment before setting off. As he soared higher and higher, the view from the top was breathtaking and the warm breeze blowing across his face. Brent felt as free as a bird as he glided effortlessly across the crystal clear waters below. The rush of excitement he felt was indescribable, and he knew that it was a moment he would never forget. Brent was having the time of his life when suddenly, the wind changed direction, becoming stronger than Brent had expected. He tried to control his glider, but the turbulence caused a collapse of his glider, leaving Brent plummeting towards the sea. Brent's heart raced as he braced himself for the impact. He hit the water hard, and the force knocked the breath out of him. He managed to swim to the surface and tried to grab onto the remains of his glider, hoping to stay afloat. But then he noticed something moving in the water, something massive. Suddenly, a fin appeared in the distance, and Brent realized with horror that he was in shark-infested waters. Brent tried to stay calm but his heart was pounding in his chest, and he knew he had to think fast to survive. He had heard stories of bull sharks that roamed the waters of Recife, and now he feared that he was about to become their prey. In the distance, Brent could see the fin of a massive creature. It started to circle him, and Brent could feel his life flashing before his eyes. He was stuck, floating in the water with nowhere to go. He tried to scream for help, but his voice was hoarse. Suddenly, the water started to swirl around him and Brent knew that something was coming. In the distance, he saw a massive bull shark heading straight for him. It was the largest shark he had ever seen and it was moving quickly towards him. Brent's heart raced and he knew he had to act fast. The shark charged at Brent and he reacted quickly, kicking it on the nose with all his might. The blow sent the shark away temporarily, giving Brent a few seconds to compose himself. His heart was still racing, but he managed to fend off the first attack, but the shark wasn't finished yet. After five long minutes, the shark circled back, and this time, it was more aggressive than before. 
Brent's heart seized in his chest as he saw the massive bull shark charging at him. With unrelenting determination, its sleek body cut through the water with deadly speed, its eyes fixed on Brent as if he was its only prey. He braced himself, summoning every ounce of courage to fight back. As the shark closed in, Brent kicked and thrashed, desperately trying to fend off the beast. But the shark was a force of nature, its massive jaws clamping down on Brent's left leg with brutal force. Brent's worst nightmare had come true as the shark's teeth sank into his flesh, sending waves of searing pain through his body. He let out a guttural scream, his mind racing with fear and adrenaline as he grappled with the imminent danger. With blood staining the water around him, Brent knew he couldn't afford to be passive. He had to fight back, or he would become the next victim of the relentless bull shark. With trembling hands, he reached for the knife strapped to his leg, his fingers fumbling in his urgency. The knife felt small in his grasp, but it was his only hope. Summoning every bit of strength he had, Brent plunged the knife into the shark's gills. The predator recoiled in agony. The shark released his grip on his leg and thrashed away, leaving Brent floating in the water, his leg a mangled mess of torn flesh and blood. The pain was excruciating, but Brent knew he couldn't give up. He tried to stay calm, but panic threatened to overwhelm him as he felt the blood flowing from his leg, creating a crimson trail in the water. He knew he had to get out of there, and fast. He scanned the surroundings, looking for any sign of help, but the vast expanse of the ocean seemed unforgiving and empty. Despite the pain and the growing sense of dread, Brent forced himself to stay afloat, using every bit of willpower to stay conscious. His vision blurred, and the salt water stung his open wound, but he refused to let go. He was determined to survive. Just when he thought all hope was lost, a distant speck caught his eye. A fishing boat was approaching, like a lifeline in the vast ocean. Brent waved his arms frantically, his voice hoarse from his earlier screams, as the crew spotted him and rushed to his aid. Brent was pulled aboard the boat, his body limp, and his mind hazy from the pain and shock. The crew acted swiftly, wrapping his leg in makeshift bandages and doing their best to stabilize him. Brent felt a mix of relief and gratitude as he was whisked away to the hospital, knowing that he had narrowly escaped the jaws of death. In the hospital, Brent underwent multiple surgeries and a grueling recovery process. The physical pain was immense, but the emotional scars ran even deeper. Brent had faced his mortality in the most brutal way, and the trauma would stay with him for a lifetime. Mason stood on the deck of the fishing vessel, gazing out at the endless expanse of the Atlantic Ocean. The water stretched out before him, an endless churning mass of blue and green. The sun was just starting to dip below the horizon, casting the sky in brilliant shades of orange and pink. Mason loved this time of day. It was when the ocean came alive. He turned to his crew, a group of hardened men with salt-encrusted skin and rough calloused hands. They were all busy preparing for another night of fishing. The nets were being cleaned and mended, the hooks baited and sorted, and the engines checked for any signs of trouble. Mason was just about to start cleaning the deck when suddenly he felt a massive wave hit the ship. He was thrown off balance, stumbling backwards and tumbling over the railing. He hit the water with a splash, the shock of the cold water taking his breath away. The crew sprang into action, shouting out commands and frantically grabbing ropes and rescue equipment. They had to act quickly to save Mason from the angry ocean, but they soon realized that there was a bigger danger lurking beneath the waves. The crew was frantically preparing to rescue Mason when they saw a large, ominous shape cutting through the water towards him. For a moment, they thought it was a friendly marine animal like a dolphin or whale but the relief turned into sheer terror when they realized that it was an oceanic white-tipped shark, a predator renowned for its aggression and fearlessness. This was not just any shark, 
but a killing machine that could detect blood from miles away and could swim at incredible speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. Its sharp serrated teeth were designed to rip flesh and crush bones with ease, and its dark lifeless eyes conveyed a cold, unfeeling hunger for flesh. As the shark closed in on Mason, its movements became more erratic and frenzied, and its large muscular body seemed to dwarf the helpless fisherman. The water around it churned and frothed with an unsettling energy as the shark prepared to attack. The crew members felt a wave of panic wash over them as they realized that they were facing off against one of the most dangerous predators in the ocean. Mason fought to stay above the water, his muscles burning from the effort as he kicked and thrashed to keep the shark at bay. The oceanic white tip circled him, its dark, lifeless eyes fixed on his prey with a chilling intensity. Its sleek body moved with sinuous grace, closing in on Mason with each pass, its sharp teeth glinting in the sunlight. Desperate to save their comrade, the crew sprang into action, tossing out a rope and buoy for Mason to grab onto. But as he reached for it, the shark's aggression intensified. With lightning speed, the predator lunged at Mason, its jaws gaping wide, rows of teeth gleaming with a primal hunger. Mason's heart pounded in his chest as he grasped the rope, feeling the rough fibers bite into his hands. But before he could pull himself to safety, the shark struck. Its razor-sharp teeth sank into Mason's leg, tearing through flesh and bone with brutal force. A searing pain shot through him, and he cried out in agony as blood clouded the water around him. The crew shouted in horror, trying to haul Mason aboard as the shark refused to let go. The beast thrashed and shook its massive head, determined to drag Mason under the water. The fisherman's grip on the rope faltered, but he clung on with all his strength, fueled by sheer willpower and the adrenaline coursing through his veins. In a heart-stopping moment, the shark ripped Mason's leg clean off, leaving a gruesome trail of blood in its wake. Mason screamed in agony, a primal scream that brought shivers down the spine of all his crewmates, trying desperately to pull him out of the water. The scene was brutal. The mixture of flesh and blood swirling like a vortex on the churning water left by the shark that plummeted under the water, taking with it a piece of Mason's mangled limbs. The crew was frantically pulling on the rope, trying to save him from the jaws of the vicious predator, but the shark was relentless. From under the water, the shark emerged like a torpedo, and it attacked once more, this time latching onto his remaining leg. Mason screamed in agony as the shark ripped his leg off. He could feel his flesh ripping apart as his other leg was devoured by the frenzied creature, warm blood flowing out of his body mixing with the salt water around him. The crew was finally able to pull him out of the water, but the damage was already done. Mason was barely conscious, his body in shock from the traumatic experience. The crew tried their best to stop the bleeding for both his mangled legs. The trail of blood from his legs painted the sides of the ship, a grim reminder of the danger that lurked beneath the waves. Mason was airlifted to a hospital in Portugal, where he underwent multiple surgeries. But despite the best efforts of the doctors, he lost both legs. He was left to cope with the physical and emotional scars of the attack, haunted by the memory of the shark that had changed his life forever.